Welcome to Dave's Cooking Show, and for you today, we have some pizzas. Uh, but first, we got to get the two standard videos out of the way, and that's the dough and making the sauce. Uh, uh, my dough, I'm going to use uh, beer as the liquid. You can use water if you wish. Uh, but I'm using an inbound Pilsner called Laser Loon. It's from a local brewery here in uh, Minnesota. All right, next up. All righty, as you can see in my mixing bowl, I have five cups of flour. You can either use bread flour or all-purpose flour. It doesn't really matter. I will say bread flour does a little bit better of a job. Then you want to add one pack of instant yeast. And then you want to add a teaspoon and a half of salt and a tablespoon of olive oil. Then you want to pour approximately two and a quarter cups of cold beer, get the dough hook attachment on, hit the lowest possible speed setting, and knead for nine minutes. Now the dough video kind of got cut short due to low battery on the uh, camera. Uh, but basically, it'll make three one-pound balls of dough or six eight-ounce balls of dough. You know, kind of play around with it. Depends on how many pizzas you want to produce. I usually age it for two or three days before I use it. You don't have to. Give it at least two hours, though, before you use it. All right. Let's move on to the universal uh, pizza sauce that's going to be used for all these pizzas. As you can see here, I've got a 28 ounce can of tomato sauce that I am putting in a little slow cooker. Okay, and then we're gonna add two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar. And then you want a tablespoon of olive oil. And then you wanna add three cloves of garlic that have been minced up. And then you want to add about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And then you want to add about a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And then salt and pepper to taste. And then you want to stir everything around till everything is mixed together. Then you just want to pop the top on and cook this for at least two hours. Okay, now that we got our dough all spread out in our pan that I lightly greased with olive oil, um, I also massaged the dough, kneaded the dough a little bit more with just a little bit of flour. And now it's time to add our sauce. You can add as much or as little as you want. Me, I go really heavy on the sauce. That's just me. I'm a guy that likes extra sauce. If you want to do a little bit less, you do you. All right, now that we got our crust all nicely sauced, by the way, you should be preheating the oven to 550 degrees or as high as your oven will go. Again, I know pizza normally cooks at like 700 degrees, but... Not many people have a commercial pizza oven in their, in their kitchen. Or if you do have one, fire up, uh, fire up an uni or something. All right, so we added a nice little layer of mozzarella. And then we wanna add some bacon. And then you wanna add some Italian sausage. Nice little layer of Italian sausage. And for a layer, I guess, for measurements, a couple handfuls. And then we're gonna add some nice diced ham. Nothing be tam. And then we're gonna add a nice little layer of Canadian bacon. And then we want to pop this into the oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until the crust is starting to get golden brown and the cheese is all nice, melty, and bubbly. And again, starting to get a few little bits of brown. All right, 
let's jump ahead a little bit in time. Okay, so through the magic of cooking show editing, our pizza is done. And the only thing left to do is just slice it up. And this was actually really good. So, that's the hog. Done.